For today's topic, we will be discussing ExoMind TMS. Let's get into it. As with my other videos, I have found it useful to start with the most important aspect of a TMS machine, which is of course, the coil. So far I've talked about flat coils, butterfly coils, and H coils. But it's to my understanding that ExoMind uses something called a double core coil. I was unable to get a picture of what the double core coil looks like, but we can take a look at what it looks like on the outside with the casing. So the boast of this double core coil is that it is easy to place, stronger with a faster response time, and more comfortable than the other TMS coils. Now because this is a new machine, I can neither confirm nor deny these claims, but if these claims are true, these three things are going to be very important for what we discuss later in this video. The way that you place the coil is rather convenient. As you can see here in the images, the patient can lay down comfortably in this headrest. They use the five centimeter rule, which means they find the motor cortex and then they move the coil 5.5 centimeters ahead to get to the treatment location. In terms of the size of the machine, it is not that big. It doesn't leave a huge footprint and you can also plug it into a regular wall socket. With the other TMS machines, you might need a transformer or some other moderately expensive adjustment to the electrical system in your office for the machine to work. With ExoMind, you don't really need to do that. In terms of portability, you can't really move other TMS machines from room to room or from office to office with ease. Now, theoretically, with ExoMind, you could. Whether or not that matters to you depends on the way that your practice is set up. If we take a look at the interface, it does look pretty simple and user-friendly and customizable. Like most TMS machines, the FDA cleared and signature protocols will be preloaded onto the machine. And if you want more advanced protocols, you would have to be familiar with those protocols to make the necessary adjustments manually for or something like ITBS, continuous TBS, or repetitive TMS. If you are a specialty outside of psychiatry and you don't do TMS full time, using the standard FDA clearances is more than enough to help your clientele. Overall, I think the ExoMind people would agree there isn't much in terms of bells and whistles with this machine. It's a TMS machine. I'm fairly confident that it does what a TMS machine is supposed to do, as in if you stimulate the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, patients will likely experience improvements in their depressive symptoms. Symptoms. That's what TMS machines do. Now, with that being said, I can't tell you if you should buy one, but I will give you some things to think about if you are considering buying one. Now, if you remember the three things that I mentioned earlier in this video about the coil, faster response time, more comfortable and ease of coil placement, these are not insignificant features, especially if you're speaking to patients about a procedure that they aren't familiar with. Unfortunately, with ExoMind being on the market for such a short period of time and very little literature and peer reviewed studies to back up these claims, this is something you're really gonna wanna ask them about. The reason why that's important is because of the cost of the machine. Out of all the things to consider, the price tag is probably the biggest. And it's up there. I will not say the cost that I was quoted because my quote might be different from yours, but it's safe to say the quote is well into the six figures. Next is durability. Now, as I mentioned, I think this coil can do TMS. I have no reason to think that it can't, but how much TMS is the question? Some practices need to run the machine all day, five days a week at 120% MT. Can this coil and cooling system handle that kind of workload without overheating? That's a question that ExoMind will need to answer and demonstrate as time goes goes on with the machine on the market. If it doesn't require that much juice to run and it can run all day, I think that's a pretty good deal. One of the issues we have in the TMS space is not the effectiveness of the treatment. It's over 80% effective. It's not corruption. There's not enough money in the TMS space for there to be rampant corruption. It's not even the cost of the machines. The issue is most people still don't know what TMS is. And from what I've gathered from the ExoMind people, I think they have a fairly strong marketing team that has the motivation and more than enough money to get the word out about TMS. The fact is that some doctors are terrible at marketing. He ain't lying. And they might actually need some help from the TMS company in order to market themselves properly so that their patients and other people in the community know that they exist and know how effective the treatment is. I wanna say thank you to the ExoMind people for the opportunity to come in and look at their machine. I will put their website in the description if you wanna contact them for more details. I wish them the best of luck with their launch because the better that they do, the better the patients do, and the better the providers do. That's all, take care.